According to recently released data, 40% of U.S. millennials prefer pictures to reading. That's right, four out of 10 young folks can't be bothered to read a couple of sentences. Marketing your dental practice to this younger generation is going to require a mindset shift on your part. I'll tell you more in just a minute. I'm Colin Receiver. Welcome to the podcast. You know what emojis are, even if you haven't used them. Emojis are their cute little tragic outraged or just goofy cartoon faces that pop up in your emails, text, and social media posts. There are objects like beers, flags, and skulls, and smiley faces, to name a few. But did you know there are a ton of dental emojis? Just run a Google image search. So when should you use those if you're marketing to the millennial generation? And the answer is, it depends. It depends on your brand, your public persona, and your previous marketing efforts. If your dental brand suggests stability, experience, and age, then probably not the right fit for you. And this also applies to your online persona. People are going to pick up when your marketing is out of character. If you create something amazing like a picture using emojis as design elements, eh, you can probably get away with it. But don't splash it around your usual marketing efforts just because you think it's the new hot thing. It's just going to turn out looking like you're trying too hard and that turns people away. Particularly if you use them wrong. If you're a millennial yourself or close to it, then you can use emojis sparingly for the maximum effect. It might help you score a few market points. But be deliberate and considerate in what, how, where, and when you choose to use them. And don't be scared to A-B split test. Send one email with and one without and see which one gets you a higher click rate. Keep moving forward. Ooh.